Hello and welcome to this ACT lesson. Today I want to show you how you can analyze student examination marks in MS Excel. And we are going to use three functions. The if function will be used for determining the grade according to a certain grading system which we have. The count function can be used to count the number of students by just counting the number of their uh, max or the average max and the count if function will be used to determine or to count the number of different grades scored for example if we have pass grades how many pass grades were scored if we have excellent grade how many excellent grades were scored that one we will determine using the count if function to better understand how this thing is working I will go ahead and do it in MS Excel. Right here you can see I have around 15 students who sat for the end of the year examination and these are their first and last names. Then this is the average max code by each student. So I want to determine the grade for each student according to the average max he or she scored and I will be using this grading system here any average mark which is between 80 and 100 will be given an excellent grade the one between 50 and 79 will get a pass and if a student average mark is between 0 and 49 of course that is a fail down here I will count how many excellent grades I have, number of passes and number of fail, so that this analysis can be used by the teacher to gauge what they can do according to how the students have performed. Then finally I will count using count function the number of students using this column by just applying the count function. And finally, this count here must be equivalent to the sum of the number you will get here plus here plus here. And to do that is very simple. Since my grading system has three grades, I'm going to use a nested if function. And I will just start it by putting equal sign and writing the word if. And I will double click the word if. We can see here we have to do logical test and the first logical test will be pick what you want to test which is a, a value in cell d3 then i will use greater or equal and i want to check if it is 80 or above 80 by just putting here 8. that one I will be applying this first range. Then I will just put a comma. In case this grade is between 80 and 100, it should write excellent. So I will put the word excellent here by just clicking the cell with the word excellent. Then I will go before, before this uh, letter H and put dollar sign to make it absolute so that it will not shift from this column and I will also go between uh, before row 8, row number 8 and put a dollar sign meaning it should not move away from row number 8 so this one means it will not move away from this cell when I am dragging down the formula I will go ahead and put a comma so in case uh, the grade or the max code here does not qualify in this range we have to do another test for the second level of the grading table and we are going to apply again if function double click and remember my 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 value is in d3 so i will just type it here d3 then do the test if it is 50 or above. So I will 
use greater or equal to 50. And if it is greater or equal to 50, I want it to show pass. So I will just click this cell with the pass. And I will have to put the dollar sign here to make this cell absolute reference. By absolute reference, I mean it will not shift from this cell H9 even if I'm dragging down the formula. I will put another comma. Now in case uh, the, the max here doesn't qualify in, in range 1 and range 2, of course it must be a fail. So I will just come here and click fail. And I don't want it to shift from this cell, so I'll make it absolute reference using the dollar sign. So this means don't shift from column H and don't shift from row 10. And finally, I will have to close this formula by closing these two open brackets for the two ifs. So I will just close them like that and press enter. Indeed, you can see 67 according to this table is a pass. If I click this, I can read my formula up here. So I will go ahead and just drag my formula down like that. So automatically you can see 48 is a fail, 71 is a pass, 85 is excellent, and 87 is excellent. Next, I want to count the number of excellent grades and the number of passes and fails. That way, I will use count if. I will just put equal sign and write here count if. Double click it from the from the list. Now you can see it has two parts, the range and the criteria. The range is where to search the excellent grade. So I will tell it to search it from here to here then comma criteria is what I am searching of course I am searching for excellent grade and my excellent grade is in this cell G13 so I will click it and I will just close the bracket and press enter so you can confirm there are 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 now here we will not drag down don't make that mistake because here it is only checking excellent. Coming to pass, you have to do it independently. Just write count if. Double click count if. After that, it has to part show it the range where to count, comma, and what to count is pass. Okay, and close the brackets. Finally, I will do another one, count if, double click the word count if, show it the range, comma, and what is to be counted, fail. So I will click the word fail and close the brackets. So we can confirm if fails are three, one, two, three, there are three. And the passes, of course, they must be 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I want to use count function to count the number of students by using this column for the max. Because count only count numbers. It doesn't count letters. So I'll put equal sign. Just write count. I will click it and select all the max and it has given me 15 which is equivalent to the number of students and if I add this 3 here if I take number of excellence plus number of passes plus number of fails my calculation is correct and my data is properly analyzed in MS Excel. Please go ahead and try this and see you next time. Bye bye.